What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to a super crazy, rainy, disgusting, and windy day in Pennsylvania. At least it's warm out though. Hey, I mean, we can't win them all sometimes. Hope you guys are doing absolutely outstanding today. We got a lot to do in today's video over at the new shop, which we're gonna keep you guys completely involved in from everything that we've started on, that we're in the middle of, and that will basically get us to the point at where we wanna be. I'd say that we're kind of halfway through what we're looking to do there. So we got some shop stuff in the beginning of this video, and then we're gonna do a comparison later on about my 2020 Denali versus the 2016 LML Denali that we still currently have, but it won't be with us for too long. The Denali winner, AKA Chris Klein, will be coming out to pick up that truck here later this week and hopefully on a little bit of a nicer day because it is literally just pouring out right now. Oh man. It's like guaranteed demise if you were a worm right now. I guess that's kind of a safe spot, safer than on the roads, because then it would get run over by my 14 wides. But yes, Chris will be coming out actually later this week to pick that truck up, plus the $10,000 cash. So we will be recording all of that. What's up, Jake? Good morning, bro. What's up? How are you? Welcome back to the vlog, dude. Welcome back to the vlog. Great to have you, dude. Great to have you. Beautiful day. Slacker over here. No, I'm only just kidding. But anyway, we will be going to the shop. We're going to be doing all of that. And then last but not least in the beginning of this video, guys, Dream Diesel Giveaway number 10, the complete surprise giveaway, will be launching in just about one week's time, maybe about a week and a half. I cannot wait to reveal which truck is gonna be up for grabs by one of you. I don't, I don't know what his deal is. <laughs> we gotta keep you guys protected. Oh man, it is a completely nasty day out here in Pennsylvania, but that's not gonna stop us from doing some truck stuff. Jesus, it is freaking pouring outside. Oh, Jane. Come on! <laughs> Not intentional, bro, I swear. <laughs> but slightly comical. Like, you like mentally prepare yourself. You're like, I have exactly 15.34 foot to get to that door and I will pull it next to a solid entrance, no problem. And then it's like, door locked. <laughs> oh, okay. What a great way to start the day. It's literally not a drop. It's done. I mean, it's, it's done. Completely it's legitimately done. all over with. Who else can relate? Struggles real, boys. All right, we got a nice quiet startup with a glorified air purifier, wet pants, wet jacket, camera that needs to go out. Literally just washed this thing too, oh, but that's just another one of those. It always works out that way. Now guys, I do have another update for you on the new 355s and the 2214s that we'll talk about when we get over to the shop. In the meantime, we'll see you all there. Guys, I actually lied. We're gonna make a pit stop at our old shop real quick. Feeling nostalgia, although I've only been out of here for like two weeks time. Oh man, welcome back guys. It's, uh, it's cool to be back here already. Uh, we've actually been driven past here like a whole bunch of times and you can see we still have some stuff over here. We've got some changes to the shop. We're gonna need this stuff for us. We're gonna pick that up. We've actually got a whole bunch of parts over here too uh, from some of the previous builds. We've actually got like bow ties from the LML. We've got tail lights from the LML as well. They're completely mint off my Chevy. We've got floor mats from a GMC Canyon, running boards off the 2020, some fender flares. We've got the Denali lights, the Denali mirrors. We're gonna grab a lot of the stuff and bring it over to the new shop. So a lot of you guys were asking me if this space would be available to my local followers. That is a great question. And yes, as a matter of fact, it actually is. So I'm gonna put Sam's Instagram right up on the screen right now. You guys can send him a message, but only if you're serious. Just be weary of the fact that people are busy and we want serious inquiries only. So if you're actually serious about potentially renting this shop space from Sam, shoot him a message on Instagram and get in touch with them that way because it is currently available. But I'd imagine that you should act on that fast if you are serious because it's probably going to go pretty quickly. So we're going to pack this stuff up real quick and then we'll see you over at the new shop. Farewell old shop. It has been real. This will probably be honestly one of the last times that we'll ever see that location on the vlog. Kind of emotional. <laughs> Plus the best part, if you move into that new shop, you literally have advanced auto parts right across the street. Shop, advanced. How could you beat that location? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the new shop now. Still trying to kind of get used to pulling in here. Oh no, oh no, squirrel moment. Looks like we hit some mud with the new nittos. Dang, dudes. I guess they only stay clean for so long, especially when it's an absolute nightmare outside. You got mud on them? I could cry. I'm so upset. So we got some unloading to do out of the Denali. I've got a ton of updates for you guys inside here. But first, we're going to have to go in without the camera because there are some secrets that might give away Dream Diesel giveaway number 10. So let me tidy up real quick. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is phenomenal to have you guys back in this shop space. And it's just so great as we're starting to feel like we're kind of moving in and we're a little bit more at home at this point in time. Since the last video that we've posted on the shop, there have been a few things that have actually changed. And we're gonna kind of start over in this corner. We'll work our way around. There's not all that much, but to us, it's forward progress. And it's been so much fun setting this entire place up, guys. I tell you what, if you have the ambition to one day build a shop similar to this, 
for yourself, I'd say absolutely do it. There's no better feeling than just having your own kind of recreational disposable space that you can do with what you please. So we're gonna start over here. Uh, this will evolve, I think. For right now, it's gonna stay kind of basic. My end goal was to make this kind of like grind hard coffee cafe, uh, but we're trying to kind of go in increments because I don't wanna like blow this place out of the water and then realize that I have no more space. So to start, we've got the seats out of good old eight ball before we swapped in the SRT seats from online parts network. We've got them kind of chilling here. We do have our pop-up podium from Loco Canopy serving as a phenomenal kind of coffee bar with our grind hard coffee here, as well as kind of our like Wi-Fi station. We had to go with like a Netgear wireless router, but we have OTR wireless. It's nice and unlimited. So that way we can power all of our electronics. Now, now, speaking of electronics, we've got this little Yamaha at home kind of surround sound system. Ended up picking it up off of Amazon, although I did check out all of your suggestions based on that video when I asked you guys and they were all phenomenal, but this one right here was like 400 bucks, so it was a price that could not be beat. So this one, we've got a center speaker here, we've got a sub down here, and then we've got surround sound. So speaker one, two, three, and four. Meanwhile, Jake is working on our mechanic cart that I happen to install everything backwards on. <laughs> So he's kind of making up for my mistakes. Uh, love you, buddy. We do have a little Vizio TV up here, which is actually connected to the speakers so we can check out our favorite content creators or when we're reviewing my vlogs, whatever the case might be. We can do that in comfort here. The micro fridge is filled with mostly beverages that hydrate, but some that also dehydrate, just so y'all knew, kind of on the weekends if you catch my drift. And that's pretty much everything here. Now we do have security cameras lining the entire premises, both inside and out. Security is key. I wish Ring sponsored this video. But hey, it's all good. I like to have eyes even when I'm not around. Now that brings us around to this corner over here. You guys can see since the last video, we actually picked up two more racks from Costco. If you guys didn't catch that video, these racks actually hold 1,500 pounds per shelf for $159 at that wholesale store, which isn't all that bad. We bought two and we quickly realized that we needed two more. We decided to link them together rather than have them separate for structural integrity. And these things are locked down, boys. I mean, it's not going anywhere. They're all anchored to the walls. And as you can see, we decided to use our super nifty, handy dandy Caterpillar 259B3 to ever so neatly stack our spare wheels and tires, our drag radials, and our forces up on the top of the rack. We do have one more location for one more set, which that skid will be used for right there. We just cut some skids in half and bada bing, bada boom. It was funny, I actually threw an Instagram post up not all that long ago before I'd actually debuted the skid steer and somebody called the question of who's been driving around in your shop with boggers? Well, I actually had the skid steer a little bit ahead of time. And I think as most of you know, I do film my videos just a little bit in advance because we all know how lives can be super hectic. And I like to give myself a little bit of a buffer just with the creation of this content for all of you guys. Now, we also decided rather than putting the racks on the black wall, we would put them on this back wall. It just seems a little bit better placed and easier to access when we have trucks coming in, skid steer coming in, whatever the case might be. Well, we're still waiting for our 220 amp service to get installed so it's kind of like ghetto fab hooked up right now for the time being but we do have our compressor and our retractable compressor unit right here over here super excited to say that we finally have a small little sink area with running water and everything along those lines right here so that's sweet and then for the time being our primary toolbox as we'll call it is just kind of right here on the wall i have a feeling we're going to end up moving it down there because there's an outlet down here and we are going to end up putting uh chargeable stuff up top it seems to make more sense to kind of have it in this corner than just randomly here and for when we decide to wash vehicles it'll be better to have the tools kind of a little bit out of the way and we do have stuff coming in by the day today one of our projects is to not only get my mistakes corrected over there but also utilize these nice amazon socket organizers the black ones are for metric the green ones are for standard that we're going to take full advantage of so that's going to be some fun work there yo what did you do to your back i have no idea he's 22 and he's like the oldest 22 year old i have ever met my entire life he comes in today and he's like oh dude my back is just not feeling good at all. And I'm like, well, what'd you do? He's like, no idea, no idea dude. I literally spent all weekend laying on my back. Some of you guys out in the audience will understand. <laughs> Some of you will just look at me and be like, what a little bitch. <laughs> all right, guys, so sorry about all that. I know that a lot of you guys didn't come here for the topic of the video, which happens to be a comparison between my 2020 Sierra Denali 2500 versus uh, the giveaway truck, Dream Diesel Giveaway number 9, 2016 LML Sierra Denali 2500 Duramax. Now, I want to get these things together and kind of angle them so we can talk through, uh, first of all, obviously the year, make, and model differences, but also kind of the mod 
route that we took as well because they're two pretty different routes in terms of like the wheel and tire setup and the overall look that we achieved with one versus the other. Uh, there is this Bronco that has been somewhat abandoned in the lot that we are actually going to use my skid steer to move. This has been here. It's from one of the other tenants, but they don't really want it here as well. So we're actually going to do them a favor and we're just going to kind of tow it out and then we're going to place it right over in that vicinity uh, for the time being so that we can kind of just open up our parking area. As you can see, this thing uh, has been sitting here for a minute's time. We're just going to put it right over here for the time being. It's starting to rain again. So that rainstorm lasted a total of about four seconds. So we're going to get right back to it. We cannot win today. I don't know what the hell the deal is with this weather, but it is nuts. I'm so happy that I ended up getting the E-Rops cab. Like, at first I was like, nah, that's unnecessary. I don't really know why I would need it. We need it. Needed it. <laughs> dude, that thing is scary. The Bronco? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I can see why. Were the brakes working though? Nope, steering wasn't working at all. Not even when you put I, ha I had you though. I had you. Didn't feel like it, man. Oh, dude, I had your back, bro. I had your back. Trust fall times 10. Today's theme song. When you hear the sound of thunder, don't you get too scared. I genuinely don't know what to do about today's video going as planned. It looks like nothing in this video is going to go to plan whatsoever because of Mother Nature's bipolarism today. She is completely all over the place. Forecast was showing that it was supposed to kind of settle down here in the afternoon and the sun was supposed to come out. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. In the meantime, Jake is still making progress on the toolbox and I am about to organize my sockets. I'm going to take y'all along. my favorite part of having Bluetooth? Bada bing, bada boom. No more copyright claims. Seriously, it's like one of my favorite things to be able to have a synced up hands-free system like that to pause music because on YouTube, you can actually run into issues if you have music playing in the background. So thanks for hanging with me as I went through this tedious process of organizing it. It wasn't nearly as tedious for all of you guys, but these came right off of Amazon. Pretty happy with them. The only complaint that I have is for one of these. It is this one right here. I believe it's the seven mil for whatever reason, the peg is actually too thick to fit through the center of it. But, but other than that, it's actually super, super nice. Got it all organized up and ready to rock and roll. And as you guys can see, finally it is clearing up outside, but it's been a few hours since we last touched base. We got to get to the actual subject matter of the vlog, but first, coffee. Gotta love me some coffee, baby. Oh man, that looks good. Yo, you can't drink that yet. It's too hot. Yeah. Let me know how it is once you get to it. <laughs> All right, boys, great news. It has cleared up today and we got some coffee, so cheers. Mm, that is absolutely delicious. I love all the feedback on Grind Hard Coffee, by the way, guys. I know y'all have loved that. My diehard coffee enthusiasts out in the audience, I love y'all. I mean, I love all you guys, but man, my coffee people, I think we just get each other. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Now, guys, we actually have another coffee blend that's coming to enthusiasts for Dream Diesel Giveaway number 10. It is not a Brazilian blend. It is a Guatemalan blend, so stand on the lookout for that. The Brazilian will be around, but stay tuned for the new blend. So let's get into this quick little comparison. This video, like I had mentioned, did not go at all as planned. I actually have to leave the shop here in a few minutes, but I just wanted to talk real quickly about the big observational differences that I've made in both owning, well, 2016 Denali, or the original kind of best looking body style versus the 2020 Denali. I've had some time with both of these, and I know a lot of you guys are kind of up in the air about what direction you'd like to go. Maybe you're looking at purchasing one of these used once they kind of start to flood the market a little bit, or maybe new, or even buying one of these things low miles, whatever the case might be in good shape. So we're gonna break this down into three simple metrics, storage, space, and driver's feeling. So driver's feeling, number one, is the biggest observation that you're gonna make if you were blindfolded and you were asked to drive on a straight road, if that 
situation even makes sense between this truck and this truck. The L5P, granted, it makes a little bit more power than the LML. So let's kind of just uh, discount that for this specific discussion. It's the transmission. 12,000 miles on this truck at this point in time. And I am completely convinced that a 10 speed needs to take over all diesel combinations. It is beautiful. It tows everything from my skid steer to other trucks, my gooseneck flawlessly. And we're talking a completely stock truck at this point in time. If you're between the two of these just for capability, that's your answer any given day of the week. Now, in terms of space, I gotta say, that one does feel a little bit bigger on the inside. It's almost comparable to a Ford, like a 2011 plus Super Duty. These are more of like a cockpit feel. Now, not bad by any means, love, love this truck. So not trying to say that this one sucks and that one's rad. It's just that those are bigger feeling on the inside. But if you were trying to kind of compare one versus the other, it's really not that big of a deal, honestly. Super comfortable truck, super comfortable truck. It's just bigger windows, bigger cab. You're overall more comfortable in this truck versus that truck, although I think the seats in these trucks are way more comfortable than those trucks. They're softer, whereas these are kind of harder and they take longer to break in. Now, storage-wise on the inside is a massive changing point. They got rid of the big deep console that this truck has. It goes down legitimately 10 inches and is about eight inches by 10 inches wide, whereas this one has a cell phone charging pad. That's literally it. And as a business owner, one of those things, especially when I'm spending tons of time in my truck, I want that versatility and I don't have that anymore. So now I'm kind of juggling paperwork and I'm juggling things and stuff that otherwise I would have never had to do or I never did do in my old LML or when I was in this truck conducting any sort of business. Now, last but not least, kind of the fourth characteristic of this conversation is styling. Stock to stock, I'd say that that truck is far better looking. This angle of the 2020 is by far the best angle. The second being, kind of the rear but the side is questionable not really a big fan of the over fenders or anything like that not really a big fan of the mirrors but i did what i could within my means to make them look a little better by painting them white whereas this style is gorgeous i think the 2015 to the 2018 denali hd is general motors best looking hd truck period ever made no ifs ands or buts other than the def tank that sits on the side that is questionable just as the mirrors are on those i'd planned on doing a way longer more in-depth video on this specific topic but as you guys saw earlier in the video mother nature really was not cooperating whereas now she is, but we're gonna have to leave here shortly. Now, my last big question to you guys is, what side of the fence are you on? Lowered street looking truck or leveled, kind of somewhat meaty, kind of well-rounded, well-balanced? But if you had to pick one, what would you do? Up in the right corner of this vlog, I'm gonna post a poll. I just wanna see which side of the fence you guys fall on more heavily. Now, I'm gonna make a promise to you guys right now. This is not the first and the only truck that was this style that will be built on this YouTube channel. I love this look, absolutely obsessed with it. It's hard to beat this combination. I mean, we kind of jumped right to the pinnacle or the holy grail of combination, all blacked out, Denali, black wheels, 14 wides, concaves, this and that. But believe me, guys, this is not the last time you're gonna see a build style this way. So I gotta be sneaky now and I gotta get everything back into the shop that doesn't give away any surprises for Dream Diesel giveaway number 10. Although I would love to give you guys hints, I can't do that yet. Plus, we're gonna have to give this thing a nice deep clean, both on the inside and the outside and get it ready for Chris's arrival later this week. So stay tuned for that video coming up here soon. Another exciting thing is it's gonna be the first giveaway video that we've ever done where it's actually in our own shop. Man, I cannot wait. So with that being said, stay on the lookout for Dream Diesel giveaway number 10 my likely goal hope you guys do what you do best tap that subscribe button if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next upload just give me a sign if you want to go